How's it going everybody? Nick Daniels here yet again bringing you uh, another little video here as we're just uh, chugging along uh, getting a little stormy out actually but uh, we're gonna be heading over to uh, Wally Land real quick. I was just working on some homework and I figured I had some time and actually it brings me to the topic of the uh, video today. Um, so anyway I actually had a little bit of a craving here. <laughs> if you've ever eaten like pizza pops, pizza pockets, uh, that kind of food. I had a little craving, not gonna lie for those. And I kind of want to talk about that. I, you know, just, uh, I, I didn't really have a topic, if you can't tell. Um, yeah, but anyway, so I feel like kind of that, this, this like junk food per se, um, it kind of gets you. It does. It kind of gets you once in a while. And uh, so, what do I mean by that? So, once in a while, and like, and you know, it, 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 it's shite. That's, that's the best part, actually. As you, it's, as you know, it's just complete rubbish. Um, like 99% of the time, it's nothing that's technically good for you. Um, I mean, there's probably worse, but I'm just saying in particular, that is not a good item for you to be consuming. Um, and yeah, ironically, like I said, you, you get these cravings where you're like, oh fuck, like I, I, I kind of want to eat them. Uh, but you only do it every so often, right? Like you don't, uh, it's not like every every like two, three days, like you're just diving into it. Uh, you know, McDonald's is a prime example. Like McDonald's, I'm not gonna tell you to go to McDonald's because you wanna get onto a healthy lifestyle, but I'm gonna tell you if you want a craving and you want some cheap fucking food, you can, uh, you can totally do some McDonald's and I'm not gonna judge you, right? And that's what I do. I get in these like cravings that I'm like, oh man, I'm really feeling a junior chicken and I'll go to McDonald's. You just get that craving every once in a while. And I, and I think it's also, I think it's also in the thing of like, you want to do a little variety. Um, like for example, like I pack a lunch and I pack a, and I, and I make myself supper and I don't just eat the same food, right? Every week. Or I don't eat the same food every so many days. Like I like, I like to rotate and that is a common theme. Like I am not alone in that belief system. Like I would not want to just eat PB and J's for seven days straight. I would like eat PB and J's for like a couple days and then I'd probably want to go like a meat sandwich or something if possible. Now there are certain times that I will do like a week straight or something. Um, like if I make like a really big pot of goulash and I don't mind that. But then after I'm not going to do it the next week. That's the problem. I'm not doing it back to back. Uh, we're ending, we end it right there. And I'm just looking back, by the way, a lot. I got, basically was getting tailgated that whole time. Um, and it's funny, I'm s still going over the speed limit. It just, they just fucking ride you. Oh, it's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I just think it's really funny. And, again, like, you'll talk to somebody, like, we, uh, we're having pogo dogs one time. And my roommate's just like, man, like, oh. I have a huge craving for pogo dogs. And I'm like, man, that's like, that's like not even something that you would want to eat. Like po pogo dogs are like the epitome of like, literally I, I had a horrible craving and I, I am doing this to myself. It's kind of where, where you get at. Where you, that's the level you're at when, when you eat pogo dogs. And that's what it was. It was like, man, like I, I really got a craving. Let's do them. And it's like, yeah, fuck yeah. And it's like, like five each and like just driving them right into you. Uh, again, like a pogo dog, now that I say it, now I'm like, man, I kind of want to eat a pogo dog. Pogo dogs, I don't think are like, again, something that I would eat necessarily too often, but they're not like, a, I don't find them horrible, like, you know, they taste good. And I think that's also the thing too, like, um, you know, shitty food, no offense to it, but it's like dirt cheap, right? Like if you go to actually go make a stir fry, um, right, if you do that, if you make a stir fry, um, how much do you think that's going to cost you, right? Now, I mean, to be fair, you could probably make a stir fry and then make multiple meals out of it. That's what I would like to do. And then you kind of get your value based out of that. But what you're doing most of the time is you're making a meal and then you're like, oh man, like I just paid like $15 to make my own pizza to get everything. Now, of course, you don't use everything necessarily in one sitting, but you pay $15 up front, but I can buy a Delicio uh, frozen pizza, cut it in half and get two meals, and it only that would only equal like a buck fifty a meal, right? Um, and it's like it's quicker, it's less prep, you know. Like I, I can go on, right? I do like a fresh pizza myself. I thought they taste incredible um, because I, like I make it, right? I I always get I normally get like pre made dough personally, and then I chuck on like all the toppings and peppers and spinach whatever, and I load that puppy right up, nice meat. 
Um, but of course, everything you buy too is like processed meat, whatever. And you know, it's the same idea. You don't have to have cravings for shitty food. Um, you can have cravings for good food. But what I'm specifically talking about in this video is the shitty food, right? Is you have a craving for something that's really not that great for you at all. Uh, like I am, I am doing here. Like I'm literally going to go buy frozen product because you know I'm just. I don't know, the swing tube's kind of calling, it kind of wants it. It wants it. Um, and I'm going for it. But like I said, that 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 is what happens uh, sometimes, right? And other times, like sometimes you just kind of have to give in. That's the way I, I kind of interpret it, is you kind of have, you almost have to give into it, right? You have to let it take over. You're like, all right, fuck it, right? Like it's shitty food, whatever. Um, but like I said, it's like, it's cheap. Like you get a whole box of pizza pops, um, for ridiculously low price and that's just it right because it's it, the consumer barely pays the thing well they're probably going to keep buying it and you got to realize it's not costing them a whole lot to make it that's the thing like this shitty food yeah it's fucking cheap man they don't make that stuff and it's like holy fuck we're breaking we're breaking the warehouse's bank just to create this product right or ship it out or whatever it's like no man like they cost them like 10 cents right like 10 cents a loaf or something and then by the time you're buying it the consumer gets his hand his little paws on it he's paying two two bones right um anyway well thank you so much for watching we go buy my shitty food and we're gonna see you in the next video peace oh wrong button